So we're up here in northern Wisconsin, fishing a small river that uh, me, Matt, Cam, and AJ have been fishing for a long time. We're not too far from my family property. It's fun fishing the skinny water because it's difficult to access shallow river. So when we were in high school is when we first discovered it and we started using our uh, family John boat to just take piece by piece into the river because there's no proof landing. Got away from a lot of pressure and kind of discovered this little gem of skinny water. And we've been fishing it ever since and we're excited to get after it again this summer after we've been there in a little bit. Wisconsin River. Uh, what's awesome about this river is the average size of the smallmouth. It's really good, really good size. The muskies are pretty average. Catch kind of low 30s average for muskies, so nothing special there, but a lot of them. He's head first. Ooh, he's on the boat. Nope, nope, nope. He's right out of the way. There he is. Oh! Nice. <laughs> and he pop off. Alright. He's fat. I know, he's. Ooh. He's stocky. 35. 35? Yeah. Nice. Dude, he hit that. That was another double hit. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Smallmouth. I've seen it change a little bit over the years. Five or six years ago, it seemed like all we would catch was between 18 and 22. And then a couple years later, we caught a couple small ones. And then now it seems like it's just every, still mostly big ones, but we catch 15s, 16s, and not uncommon to catch a couple 20 inches and we do a couple mile float here just about to start that float now That's a pig. <laughs> 19. 
19 inches, ladies and gentlemen. Bronze back. Mississippi's got big smallies, but the skinny water, it's just easier to, to come upon more of them in a day than, that, than the big water. Here's the goods. Head on Zara Puppy. I think this is the three inch? Or, yeah, this is the three inch. Use the four and a half inch too, but the puppy is, this is, this is the goods. Hit it again, 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 hit it again. Doing all right. He's not in a hurry. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! This river obviously is the incredible smallmouth and musky fishing that you can get in here um, and a lot of factors go into making that possible one of them is that this particular stretch of river is extremely undeveloped Some of the factors that come from development uh, that can degrade the quality of the river include developing the shoreline. The shoreline is really important for fishery production and also for water quality. If you don't have a lot of vegetation on the shorelines, you can get a lot more turbidity in the water from flood events washing out and cutting into the shoreline. And then that silts and substrate fills in a lot of the uh, current cobble gravel kind of stuff we have here, which is really important to 
produce some invertebrates, which is pretty much the base of the food web in these systems. And there's a lot of this in this river, which means there's a lot of forage for those lower levels in the food chain and moves right on up to those uh, fish that we fish for. All right, we got a little uh, storm that just came in here. We're getting rained on now, but we're still floating. We're still out here. Uh, we've had some good luck in the past on top water while it's raining, so we're going to keep trying and see what happens. And another reason that development can degrade fishing is just more people using the river and more access points. We just motored maybe a five or six mile stretch of the river and passed two or three shoreline docks, maybe. You know, there's not much pressure if there's not many access points and it's difficult to run the river and that just makes those fish less pressured and more likely to be caught. They haven't seen as many lures. They aren't subject to as much stress from anglers. So that's just one reason that it's uh, imperative to keep these places wild like they are. Um, not only for the ecology of the region and keeping those fish there, but for good angling opportunities. No. Is this snag? No. No. I'm swimming up river. You're just going to have to tire him out. It's, it's fighting like a big fish. Oh my god, I cannot believe he didn't just snap you off. Nope. Get, get above me. Yeah, he's on the boat. Real, 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 real. That's a nice fish, dude. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. This thing is fighting really well. Alright, bring him down. Right down the line, right down the line. Shit. This is a good fight. Keep him out of those weeds if you can. Nice! <laughs> wow. Dude, look at where that hook is. It's Jump. out. It's a thick one, man. It's not really long, but it has a thick fish. What a fight. <laughs> that was incredible. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Not sure how long he was. He's longer than the tape, so we'll figure it out later. We don't want to exhaust it too much. Try to get his head facing upstream. That's a nice fish, Matt. It's fat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty thick. I don't know. What would you guess? Uh, it's pushing 40. Yeah. Yeah, come on, come on. Should I let him go? Yeah. Here he goes. <laughs> yeah, he's swimming. He's gonna sit down in the weeds. Nice. shoreline has been protected by the Department of Natural Resources so that it can't further be developed. The state actually bought up the land. Who needs an infinity pool in the river? <laughs> this water temperature is perfect. Can we crack a beer while we're in the water? Yes.
filled up with river water. Did you see that? Double fist. Oh god. <laughs> if only there was some mountains around here. I'd never leave this place. Place to keep as is as pristine as possible. 